How's it going guys? Today we're gonna be doing a, something a little bit different. Uh, I know we haven't done this in a while and I'm actually kind of excited to do it weirdly. Is we're gonna be doing a little bit of shore fishing from Mead. It's gonna kind of take us back to our roots uh, before we had our boat and stuff. Now we got about a half a mile hike down to the water. We're gonna be fishing for striper, so it's gonna be pretty cool. We brought plenty of stuff. We got everything from anchovies to some lures. So we don't know what they're gonna be biting, but I'm pretty positive they're down there right now. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. And really quick, I wanna mention something that we've been doing. We have a TikTok account. If you guys wanna check us out, we post multiple times every single day most of the time because it's a lot easier to post on there. Here's my TikTok username right here, Since the Outdoors also. So go ahead and check us out over there. We got plenty of videos you can go over there and look at. And like I said, we post multiple times a day. As you can see, I brought a bunch of spinner baits, a bunch of jerk baits, swim baits, all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna, since we're hiking down to the water, I didn't bring a backpack. We're gonna limit down our stuff, so I'm probably just gonna bring a couple lures, our bait, hooks, and stuff, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, this is just about everything we need. We got, we got all of our rods and stuff also. We're bringing, looks like five. We got a cooler full of stuff too, so. It's a little bit windy out here. Again, like uh, we keep mentioning, we're having a lot of wind lately here in Southern Nevada. We're gonna go ahead and hike down to the water now. All right, so we got a decision here. There's a deep water point there. On this side, it's kind of shallow next to the weeds, but as of right now, I think we're gonna start on the deep, deep point and see if we can't get a couple stripers. This is a pretty far hike down here. Guys, right on this edge looks like the spot. We got some deep water and a good spot to fish from. So we're gonna go ahead and set up right here and go ahead and cast our lines out. So one thing I wanna note really quick, guys, is that the water here at Lake Mead has been coming up like crazy. Usually right here, um, you got a good little bench to walk on and everything, but the water since it's been coming up, we're literally fishing in the cliffs. And also the reason why I'm shore banging today because a lot of people don't have boats and a lot of you guys are commenting you know how do you catch them from shore so today we're gonna go ahead and show you how we do that and how we would go about it because a lot of people say that they're not catching so we're here Lake Mead from the shore we hiked all the way down to the water and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't catch a couple people are catching uh, the cup people we ran into walking had a cup on their stringer so it looks like it's gonna be a good day all right so all I'm gonna be using right now because we're gonna be casting around lures also but I'm gonna let some bait sit it's just a basic drop shot rig I've got a nice size one hook with a nice weight right there so um, it's about I'd say 10 10 inches of uh, line between the weight and the hook so we're gonna go ahead and put on a piece of anchovy cast it out and let it sit on the bottom all right so I don't know how this audio is gonna be because it's crazy windy but what I did here is I cut up a bunch of anchovies and uh, as you can see, the smaller ones are gonna be for chum, and some of the bigger pieces like this one are gonna be for bait. So that's one of the things we do when we're fishing. Uh, you gotta have some chum and some bait. I personally prefer using the heads, the heads for bait. They'll stay on longer, and they're a lot more sturdy, so the fish can't steal it as easy. Now normally, I'll have more space in between my weight and my hook, but this will do for now. I just like to get the head and hook them right through the eyes. So you can see there the bait. Just hook it right through the eyes. And that's it. So now, wherever I cast that, which won't be too far out, I'll go ahead and throw a bunch of chum on top of it. All right, so now that we've got everything set up, it's just a waiting game from here on out. Hold up your ring. When it's windy and you don't have weights, just get a rock and you make it happen. Literally grab the rock, making it work. Closer, huh? My weight's not. 
Senior really just used a, a rock as a weight and caught a fish in about a minute when I've been sitting here for probably 30 minutes. They're closer, huh? You barely cast that out. I've That's got nice mine little. bombed. Nice though, that's a good one. Paddle, I used a little rock because he didn't have one ounce weights. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have heavy enough weight, so he used a rock as a weight. Let's throw him on the stringer. This guy's gonna be part of the catch and cook. Awesome. You got one? Yeah. Fish number two. Super skinny? The other one's way better than this one. Let him go if he's super skinny. We'll keep the fat ones. Alright. Oh, oh, right there. Fish on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. A baby. That's what it's all about. Those of you that are out here shore banging, I feel. I feel your pain. We got set up and now uh, literally two feet from where I was at. Look at my pole, his pole, his buddy, and his other buddy, and his other buddies. Craziness right here. Combat fishing. Come look at this real quick. So not only did I just catch the biggest uh, fish in the whole lake, he tangled up my line like crazy. I can't even unhook him. That right there is a nice fish. Hey, the hook's not in him. It was for a second, but now my line, he tangled up like crazy. All right, this guy's too small right here. He lives another day. And then we still got this one. All right, so we caught another one, but as you guys can see, it's paper thin. We don't like keeping them when they're paper thin, so this guy's most likely gonna go back also. Do you want it? Thank you. <laughs> Some people don't mind eating them when they're paper thin. We just try to keep the fatter ones. All right, we're good. It is possible to catch. Yeah, you for a second gotta... there, I was getting nervous because it was super windy. I couldn't keep track of my line, but Literally the lightweight I cast it only about two feet off the edge and the heavy I put on a two ounce and just chucked it out there It worked. I didn't even know I had them on. I was checking my bait and I was like, oh, I got a fish. So that was cool <laughs> All right, so we're about to hike back up to the truck. We're gonna call it a day This wind makes it horrible for filming, but I hope the audio is good enough that you can actually hear me clearly but um, we ended up catching three we caught a small one, I let that one go, we gave away a skinny one, and we kept a nice one. So we're going to go ahead and take them home, cook them up. As of right now, we're going to pack everything up and get hiking back up the, up the mountain to the truck. No wonder I didn't catch anything, my bait probably scared them away. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hike up this hill. Like we said, it's probably about half a mile from where we are fishing all the way to the truck. Alright, so now we've packed everything up in the truck, we're going to go ahead and head home now. We only kept one, so we're going to go ahead and take them home, cook them up, and man, I forgot, uh, it's been a while since I've shore fished. I bow fished from the shore and stuff last season, but that still is almost a year ago, so it's been a long time since I've shore fished and it's almost like combat fishing. At first we got there, we were the only ones there and then a whole bunch of people came in and everybody was fishing, but it's all good. Everyone's nice. Uh, it is a little compact in there and we were like on cliffs, but still worked out. Everybody was catching and having a good time. All right, so we're back home now. Um, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this striper really quick. Skinless, boneless, just nice and easy. And we're probably just gonna saute them really quick. Uh, just a very simple recipe. To be honest, you can never go wrong if you cook fish like this, in my opinion. It is seriously one of the easiest ways to cook a fish. Um, normally, we don't like keeping the skinny ones, but that's just about what we're catching at Lake Mead lately. And uh, they're still good eating, don't get me wrong, they're still really good eating. You just don't get as much meat on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wipe this guy down real quick with paper towels. 
It's a little slimy. It makes it easier to do some knife work on them. We're going to get a sharp knife, like the one I got right here. Put them on the cutting board, get to flame. <laughs> Another piece of advice really quick is that before you season your fish, go ahead and dry it again. So it's going to be a very simple, easy to do recipe. So all we're going to be using is a little bit of black pepper. We got it in this little container. Um, some garlic salt. And I'm going to change it up a little bit and use a lemon. We're going to get a little bit of butter. Don't need a whole lot. One thing is you don't want to just let your butter sit there and burn forever. So we're going to go ahead and um, keep it on low heat just so it melts nice and slow, spread it around the pan. Our garlic salt, we're just going to give it a real light sprinkle of that. Our pepper, we're just going to give it a nice even coating of that also. And we're going to go ahead and do that to both sides. The butter's completely melted. Right as it starts to turn a little bit brown is when you know it's ready to be used. I'm going to go ahead and pour some lemon on them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave it on here probably just a couple minutes once you'll know when it's done because it'll start to flake apart and fall apart so when it, your fish starts doing that it's perfect as you can see it's starting to fall apart that's how you know it's done now one thing i want to tell you guys really quick is uh what to notice now you see here how this piece has all that dark stuff on it uh that's the blood usually i cut that out or when you bleed the fish none of that should be there or most of it won't be there you might still have to cut a little bit out but when you just have meat like this doesn't have none of that dark stuff on it that's when you know you got a really good product that piece is going to taste a lot better than that piece but i'm going to go ahead and taste them all right so this is the final product usually you can cook you know other stuff with it maybe salad or uh, some vegetables or something and get a full meal but right now i just feel like eating some fish so i'm just eating like a little bit of a lunch right here eating this fish so we're going to go ahead and give it a try is that piece without the bloodline nice little bite here that's extremely good. I'll tell you what, that's really good. Especially for only taking, it literally only took me probably five minutes to cook it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and taste a piece with this little bit of blood on it and see if if it's worse. Yeah, so those pieces with the, the, the blood in the meat, that's darker. Definitely have like a little bit more of a fishy taste. Not bad though, I still really like it. I'm gonna eat it all, this stuff's really good. When we went out shore fishing today, we seriously were only out there for probably like 30 minutes. And we caught three. And uh, we only kept one. We only needed what we we're gonna eat. We gave away skinny one, like we mentioned, and we let go a real small one. So, awesome food. Seriously, anybody can go out and do this. Uh, we were out at Lake Mead. We hiked down to the edge, caught some fish. Only like, literally like an hour and a half ago, maybe an hour ago, this thing was swimming around in the water. And now he's on my plate. And we're enjoying him. Great, great meal. I'm gonna go ahead and go give some of this to Senior in a minute. Uh, comment down below if you guys like this video. Obviously, if you guys like it, drop a like, please. We really appreciate it here at Sin City. If you guys want to see more Catch and Cooks, let us know. Uh, fishing season's really coming up close. It's already starting, basically. We're already talking trips. We're about to go soon. Um, things are going to start rolling here. I'm excited about what the future brings. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.